A confident Trinidad and Tobago Calypso girls outfit left for Liverpool this afternoon for the INF Netball World Cup. This year marks 40 years since the 1979 team won the title on home soil. However, coach Wesley Pepe Gomes isn't adding extra pressure on his team. Ian Wayson has more. The Calypso girls have been putting in the work for many months now. You might even say years. And the time is almost here. They will play their first game in the World Cup on Friday, July 12th against tricky South Africa. But the coach is confident of a good showing. We have been preparing for, for a while and um, we, I think we did enough work to make sure to be go proud. So um, we just finished the camp. We're off the wheels now to do the final touches. So I think we're in good stead. His confidence isn't misplaced as a team, especially the centre court, has an injection of speed and youth as the team only has six players who played in the World Tournament four years ago. We have six players from the last under-21 team. They bring out a lot of um, flair, youthfulness, speed. I mean, we have a lot of depth now because of them in the centre court. Captain Rhonda John Davis is making her sixth World Cup appearance. She too is very confident and sees the benefits of the practice games versus the men's teams in recent weeks. The men were able to help us a great deal because we did not have international warm-up matches as we, as we would like to. We were able to use the guys and their athleticism and obviously they are much taller than us and it really, they really pushed us to the limit. So I think that we are just waiting to go to Wales and see um, with the international games out there where we are at and we'll go back to the drawing board before the 12th of July. Australia have won the World Cup 11 times, New Zealand 4 times and Trinidad and Tobago once. Surprisingly, no other team has ever won the title. Ian Wason, TTT Sports.